Hello, we are back. <clears throat> and that was super fun. I don't know if uh, everybody that's on now is, was watching from before, but um, what a cool little ending technique on that piece uh, where we just, you know, kind of used a palette knife and splattered um, a little bit of, of white and red. Uh, just gave it a really cool texture to it. Um, I'll show you guys here when we get going here in a second. Um, what that looks like. So here's what that looked like. Um, we kind of got this sweet branch coming up. Actually, I like it this way. Um, it's gonna, it's very oriental feeling. Um, we were able to put some little flowers in there and, and add some color to it. There's some color in the background. I know it's kind of glaring, but um, if you can see that, oh, I'm trying to find a spot. There's a little bit of red in here. Uh, that kind of comes up through that background and then we just sp sprinkled and sprayed some paint on the end of that just added some really cool texture so uh, that was a, a neat piece um, inspired by some art that someone had sent me uh, some tattoo art that was a uh, super cool um, so what we're gonna do now is um, kind of on this kick of this this dribble paint background type thing um, so we're gonna kind of go in with a little purple and uh, and teal and do this, do this for fun, and then uh, throw in some uh, some palm trees and have a uh, have ourselves a Hawaiian time. So, thank you guys for being here on a Friday evening. I know it's supposed to get really junky out in most cases where everybody's at. So, um, hunker in and get warm, and we're gonna we're gonna go for it here with some some iris. Actually, uh, I know I have some. start with some uh, some metallic blue in the sky we're gonna go with this this is um, multi-surface ink spot is the name of this um, it's got a, a metallic blue color to it um, we're gonna kind of dribble this in the sky just a little bit we don't want a ton because last night we ended up with a little bit and we're gonna mimic this down below in our water. We're gonna keep these towards the top because this is gonna be our top color. And then we're gonna kind of come in with, we're gonna finish up this metallic purple. Actually, you know what? Changing on the fly, artistic freedom, checking it out. We're gonna go in with this iris color and fill we're gonna some purple sky in there, not a ton. Get more in the water. Cool. Dribble dribble. Nice. I like it. I'm just gonna actually throw a couple blobs in the sky here just for something different. Now I'm gonna finish this off with this peacock or teal that's gonna be more of our horizon line it's a little thicker paint get a little different blobs here wonder how that'll mix and what we're gonna end up doing is going over this with a dry brush and then just um, blending this I am gonna hit this with just a hint of white. So that this blends a little bit on our horizon. Throw some dabs of white in the sky, just, just to say we did it. All right, let's see what we got. So everybody kind of see that? This is something you can try at home doesn't need to be super perfect. Now remember, <laughs> we're gonna wanna use long strokes on this and then not just go nuts with it because it'll swirl and blend it that way. Um, so we're gonna, gonna kinda see what this looks like. We wanna make sure we get full coverage on all of this. 
So we're gonna start at the top. Try to get this blue and this purple going back and forth. Let's see this. And kind of like the palette knife, you can lay your brush a little flatter so that you're kind of smushing the paint and spreading it as you go. Again, we use too much paint. Uh, hard not to when you're just kind of blending colors together. Um, but super cool little texture we got going here. And it's kind of mimicked by the water. Cool. All right, we don't want to go too far with that. Got some weird blue streaks kind of in the middle, so we're gonna try to go over top of this and get rid of those. Cool, I like it. That looks pretty sweet. here so we got those covered and our bottom cool all right so completely different than the yellows and the oranges and the purples we used last night similar technique just dribbling some paint on it now we have this kind of wispy awesome looking kind of sky going on here with different highlights and whatnot um, we did use some cloud techniques in the last uh, um, in the last Hawaiian one that we used orange um, you can certainly throw some clouds in here I'm gonna do um, a couple different palm trees just because I was really digging that from last night so we're gonna use this brush here it's a hybrid brush um, I don't know if you can see it, that's a good angle there. It's got a square, regular square brush, and then these little feeler end pieces here um, are a lot like a fan brush, but they're, they're straighter. Um, so we're gonna use this. You can pick these up, I believe, at Michael's um, or Kohl's, or excuse me, um, Hobby Lobby. This should be something you can look for, and they're really great for using these palm ferns. Um, so we're just gonna kinda go for that and see what we get. So, a little bit of paint on there. Remember these palm ferns, if this is the first time you're watching this, we're gonna make two that arc really close to the um, trunk of the tree. It's okay if they kind of cover, um, you know, the, the, the trunk of that. Actually, it adds a little, a little bit more realistic look to it. Again, these are picking up a little bit of the blues from the background, which is great.
like that. I like it. So, get another one here. Come up. Not using a ton of black on these guys because um, it just kind of has this lighter feel to it. It's not as silhouette-y because uh, we are picking up some of these um, purples and teals and stuff from the background, and it's it's just adding some cool texture to it. So that one got a little dark on us. get yourself one of these brushes guys because this is like seriously makes your job a thousand times easier so easy just a little wisp across the top there you got like perfect palms you know music it's like tropical and fun for our little theme here yeah I like it cool so Throw a little bit of a land in here. I'm just gonna kind of muddy this up just a little bit. It doesn't have to be super flat and square, but just as long as we get some color in there to show that it's not water that this is actually some trees, some land. So we kind of lay out some texture there. That's kind of neat. kind of finishing up the bottoms of these, layering them out. Palms can pretty much go right into a bulb at the bottom of the uh, where they're at. So if you make it a little bit wider, it looks a little more realistic. It's like a giant ball that the uh, uh, the root system is. So um, if you ever see a palm up close like this planted in the ground, definitely has this larger mass at the bottom. That's why they tip over so easy in hurricanes and stuff is that just well, like on like on a bowling ball, so kind of works. All right, so we're gonna grab a little of this leftover stuff and just 
just kind of throw that in here. Just some highlights in there. And this is just this leftover color that we pulled from the sky that we kind of washed off our brush with, or pulled off some of it. Just kind of gives it a little bit more of a feeling like there's some some land kind of wallowing out there with no, no infinite amount of space where we're at. We're not going to put any highlights in it for the water. It already kind of has that from the sky. It just has this kind of cool feel to it. I want to put some birds in here. People are afraid to do birds, so we're going to do some black ones. Some seagulls in here. We'll kind of put some off to the side. Remember, birds do have bodies, so they're not just a straight V. Tropical. Yeah, it's still pretty thick paint up here. So This paint so thick that this black does not. A couple of the birds, you want to make sure like their wings are a little tighter. On the V, they're not mid flap, you know. Cool. All right. Got a bunch of birds flying kind of in there. What do you guys think? Pretty neat. You guys see it? Looks pretty tropical. Cool. All right. I am going to bring the camera to you guys or the camera to the. What do you think? Kind of neat. So we really never even painted the background. Um, you know, we just dropped it on there and just kind of flopped it across and swirled it around. And then we really made some cool trees with that, that one brush. It's definitely got. Uh, you know the texture to it is really neat so hope you guys like thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight um, um, and we, we got a couple pieces done that are completely different uh, for those of you who are still watching um, this is piece number two uh, this is our tropical blue and purple kind of neat little Hawaiian escape little oasis so you got a light ring reflection got some birds in the sky looking super cool and this was our first piece hang tight with me this is our first piece here it's pretty much dry now um, but we used um, a, a kind of a swirly uh, background we dropped some red in there grays and, and whites and blacks and then we put a kind of a gnarly oriental tree in there kind of a Chinese blossom tree and we used some Chinese blossoms throughout and then we splattered it with uh with red and white paint uh to give it this kind of 
neat texture feel to the end of it with our little buddy the dragonfly. That's uh, what, Pete's dragon? <laughs> How about that? Um, there he is, he's got a little teal and a little purple in there. And uh, yeah, there's Pete's dragonfly. <laughs> a, little a little Friday night fun for you. Um, so we got a couple of really unique pieces, um, both of which were done in acrylics on um, 12 by 24 canvases. Uh, usually you can buy those in two packs um, at Hobby Lobby, pretty inexpensive. Um, happy to announce that the class we're doing next Sunday in Tustin at Randy's Tavern and Restaurant um, completely sold out. Um, I think we have, we originally were aiming for 12 people. We're at 20 now and uh, it, it, who knows, there might be 30 people there, I don't even know. So we're bringing a ton of canvases, a ton of paint and brushes and, and a, a ton of fun that we're gonna have. So um, I'm excited about it. Um, I wanna thank everybody that was, was helping getting that, um, getting that taken care of. Marcy, you're awesome uh, for getting that all done. Um, if you're watching tonight, thank you so much. Um, you're definitely not giving up your seat to anybody. You earned it. Um, so I appreciate that. And we're also going to be doing uh, additional classes um, uh, as soon as we can schedule dates for them. We have some locations that are willing to do that. So um, thank you to all involved that have been helping with that. I really appreciate that so much. Um, it's Friday. We're hanging out. We've got eight folks left. Uh, I'm going to bid you a uh, adieu and a wonderful night wonderful weekend i'll be back tomorrow um we're gonna try some some new stuff maybe some um paper towel stuff i don't know tune in to find out all right you guys have a great night god bless take care of each other